Zach, thank you so much for joining us at this forum. We are very, very, very glad to have you here. Thank you for your time and for sharing your experience with us. Zach Romaya is the owner of Old Town Liquor, one of the biggest stores in California. Zach, very, you're very welcome. And nice. It's nice to have me. Yes, thank you so much for your time. Zach, we would like to know more about your experience and how is your background in the tequila industry? Because we know you are a tequila enthusiast. So we would like to know more about this. Okay. Yeah, I started uh, when I purchased my building in Old Town in 1995. Uh, there was a person, his name Juan Carlos. Mm -hmm. uh, he came and rented a space from me. He said, I'm going to open a tequila bar. He mm -hmm. was one of the first people, in fact, in California to open tequila bar, and he's still my tenant, in fact. Wow. And so he's the one who started bringing tequila. My business is on, on the first floor. His business, the restaurant is on the second floor. And people come sit down, drink tequila, and say, wow, this is good. They come downstairs. They say where I could find this bottle, how I could buy tequila. Mm -hmm. So little by little start involving in tequila. And I used to drink whiskey, but the more I drink tequila, I stayed away from whiskey. And I so I started imagine, love I tequila. Imagine. And so I started advocate for it. And we started doing what they call the spirit of Mexico. Uh, one of the big uh, participate was with me, uh, Gil Gildardo. Uh, Partida, and we started bringing tequila. At he, he, that time, he bringing his uh, Cava de Oro, and we have a spirit of Mexico, and we start coming people from around the United States in Old Town. We did it for many years, and so the more I start selling tequila, of course, I start opening warehouse, I start recommending a brand, and so that's my background. We yes. still, yeah, we still doing that. I know that, yeah, I know that you have more than 700 options in your liquor store of tequila. Mm -hmm. You have different brands, different options, different uh, different things of, of different brands of tequila. Yeah, we specialize in agave spirit, of course, number one category, tequila, then mezcal, then now we have Rasia, Bacanora, all agave spirit from different Mexican, from everywhere, from Mexico. So yes. we have a huge, huge selection. Yeah, you walk in the store, uh, there's almost thousands of different brands. And yes. we keep a big warehouse to support us. We have a big warehouse so we could stock or the pallet goes there. Then we bring it to the store. Otherwise, of course, the store is not enough to do that. <laughs> No, I know it's, it's huge. Your options in, in your liquor store are huge. And I know you can send tequila and all the spirits around the US, around the States. You can yeah, ship we everywhere. Love we love tequila. We think it's a good spirit. Uh, it's not harsh. Uh, I always tell people if they don't know that tequila is something you could start if you are, if you think like uh, whiskey is stuff for you or stuff or doesn't you have to mix vodka with something. Just start a simple uh, tequila and you don't need to start maybe so sophisticated. You could even start with Mexico first. Uh, something mm -hmm. you need to drink and then you graduate him, the people. Um, yes, a lot of industry, I tell them, when you come try focus on your brand, don't think you wanna beat the other brand. Focus on to do your brand to be the best. Uh, I remember in, uh, many years ago when they a guy he came making first tequila. His brand they say, well, "What's good about your tequila? What's the difference?" Oh, my tequila better than Patron. No, I say, I say, please don't say that because you are like little child. You want to play at the National Dodger Stadium. It's not gonna happen that. Those they are bigger brand. They work hard. They become bigger brand. So focus on yourself only. Don't think about the others. And yes, that's right. what I did. A lot of people, especially they uh, they go and make a new brand. Of course, uh, it's always like shaking because there's a lot of people, they just want to go to make the brand to make money. 
Uh, some people, they do it because passion for it. They love it. And usually I notice between the last 30 years, the one really have passion for tequila, they become very successful. The one they were just focused on a dollar sign, they become faded. They all faded. Yes, I know. And as you say, Isaac, every brand is unique and you have to get focused in your own brand. Yes. So uh, you mean you're talking not my brand, my brand? Uh, uh, in, in general. I thought the question of general. Okay. So yes. So I always tell people that if you're going to make a brand for yourself, make sure to focus. You have to talk with the master distiller who's going to make the tequila. Just doesn't go and just make any name because you want it, you think is going to sell. It's to sell in a market as United States or Mexico is a huge. And there's a lot of competition. If you want to be unique, you have to think and make sure the bottle nice, the label nice, clearly so the where it's made, uh, which flavor, uh, which profile. Uh, he need to participate. And one of the main thing I always tell them is the new people, they really need a capital. They're gonna have to spend money on advertising, uh, showing in the show. If he doesn't have capital, it's gonna do for failure. Yeah, and that's the reason we see a lot of brands just go, they come in, just go. A lot of distillery, of course, I don't blame them in Mexico. If you come to me, uh, they're going to make you tequila, but they're not going to feed you the milk or make you, you just going to make you like, deliver, like a hospital delivering baby, but you have to raise your baby. So oh, do you understand yeah. what I mean? So yes, you, yes. you make tequila, of course, the distillery make you tequila and they want, that's their business to make money. But you need to sell it. You're going to need to take care for it. And, and it's like your people, baby. Yeah. It's like your baby, Zach. You have to take like care of baby, everything. It's not going to be immediately, unless you are George Clooney or somebody like that, of course. If yes. you are a big name and you could spend money and everybody know you and you just sell. But if you are a normal person, you have to work hard. Yes, of course. Yes, I agree with you, Zach. Zach, and how do you see the future of the tequila? How do you see, what do you, what, what do you think is going yes, to happen? I, I, yes, uh, that's a good question. It's, it's very bright. Uh, what I think lately, every year is going to start changing and toward more people make the Mexico, people make the single vineyard. People, they say no addictive, people say addictive. For me, always the consumer, the judge, not us. The consumer, if they like that brand, they wanna buy that brand, we should always support them. And we bring them more. And if they wanna change to the brand profile, we always have those options for them. And I, I am the part of people, I don't like people, say bad thing about other profile or which profile and they it's just they all different each profile it have its own fan and own people love it and those people we should encourage them not say oh you don't know this or whatever so that's i think the future is very going and a lot of uh, like uh, you know groovers there's many people galardo uh, there's many from Corredora, from Patron, from Corvo, from now you see the grandkid of uh, Corvos or Fortaleza. Many people start involving and bringing a new element for the market by sophisticated bottle things, flavors, uh, and all this. So, so it's a very good future. And I will not stay in this business if I have no future. Of course, there's a good future. Yes, I think I agree with you, Zach, and also the innovation, right? To change the label, the bottle, something different because the consumer is changing too. That's exactly right. We have a new generation. The people like the 50 is not the same with the 20 people they're going to look. 
So of course, we have to keep the trend. And I think Mexico are doing really good. When I go to Guadalajara or Mexico City, you could see all the flavor design and things, and, and especially like bars, where <laughs> that's the main thing. When, when we, if you want to sell tequila, I suggest, all, again, I bring that original question for the tequila brand, focus on the bars and the restaurant, because if I go in the restaurant, in the bar, I'm going to see that your bottle, if I like it, then I go buy it. I'm going to test it there, and then I go buy it. Uh, it's better to start focusing on those, their most money, and then go second to the retailer. Yes, I agree. First of all, the on-premise accounts where you can drink the tequila, you yeah. can see the bottle, and then you go to the liquor store and buy this tequila. Yes, totally, totally agree with you, Zach. And I will tell them some hint. Yeah, they should have some hints from people listening to me. Uh, if you go to your neighborhood bars, go support the, the bartender. Mm -hmm. Tell them, hey, I will give you keep on discount. Promote my tequila. And when somebody sit down, say, what kind of reposado you have? Promote my stuff. And mm -hmm. I will give you discount, whatever things for somehow it gets the market this way moving for their to brand. Yes, now, I, I think like to see, I like to see a new brand, small guys where they start getting bigger and bigger, which is good and healthy for the industry. Yes, exactly. You are pushing the the whole chain and you are you are incentivizing the bartenders and they talk about your product. So it's like a marketing strategy. Correct. Perfect, yes. Zach, and what do you recommend to the new brands who want to start in the US market? What else do you recommend? Well, that's what I, uh, it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a big question, of course. I know, it's uh, very general, but maybe. Very general question. As I said, uh, make sure you work with the tequila maker, your master distiller for that brand, uh, the, the flavor, if he's going to, which profile he's going to use. Is this intent uh, just make tequila? And I say make tequila brand. So make sure they focus on the profile of their brand where they have to test it to a lot of different people. They like it before they go invest money. They have to have a capital. Uh, there is a huge market in the United States, very big. There is a lot of places still they don't even have enough tequila. Even if you drive now to many states, uh, just beside, don't look on California and New York or Florida. Those they are, they have a lot of brand, but there's a lot of state. You drive in and they have only, you walk in a the store, they have maybe two brand only. So yeah. there's a lot of opportunities in, in a different state and where this, uh, the market going. But you still have to make a tequila drinkable. Maybe it's for him not drinkable, it's for the general market have to like it. So, so make sure whoever listening, you, if you make tequila, it's not, it's not just for yourself. You have to think other people like it and uh, see what they say uh, before you go bottle and invest hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, they have to do some test market. You have to listen to them, right? You have to listen yeah. to the customers. And there's a lot of market for it. And they have to participate and show it. And they need some capital. If you don't have that, you have to start somewhere, maybe just locally. Yes. So it's, there is a lot of segment. You want to go to hit the cocktail market? Are you hitting the, uh, the general market to be in a, like a discount store? big supermarket or you want it for boutique for a specialty Similar. store so kind of you have to focus it's impossible to have a new brand go everywhere have to be focused on certain market yes it's true so unless this game become big then he could focus everywhere like let's say patron heredora those they've been existing in the market for many 50 years so uh, of course they are different yes it's true it's true and as you say you have to focus in your client in your profile if you are at tequila premium or for cocktails yes yes totally totally agree Zach. Zach, and what do you recommend to the industry 
not to the new brands, to the yeah, industry. So, so the industry, uh, I always said, if, if I go to distillery, I need to see where the sources of their agave come in, mm -hmm. uh, how, how old the agave they're using, uh, uh, they're using the, the, the barrel. A lot of them, they don't want to spend money on their barrel. Yes. They keep using the same barrel, same barrel, same barrel. They kind of like suck the life of it. So they, and the master distiller a lot of time, uh, I don't want to say name, but they think they know everything. They need to listen to their consumer that people are drinking it. And if they don't do that, that's the reason a distillery, just like business, you see some of them got very successful. Some of them just stay sitting like waiting for you to walk in. So they don't want to improve their equipment. Uh, they have to do improvement. They cannot be just the same. Yes, exactly. And if mm -hmm. you have to change your barrel all the time, change your filters, the water source, mm -hmm. uh, you, you make a contract, you find you cannot just change prices uh, immediately without notice. People will not come back to you. So don't think you are because you were famous, but there was a lot of famous cars. Now they are nobody buy those cars. There is a yes. new thing. So be, think could change fast. Yes, and you have to think in everything, as you, yeah. as you say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much, Zach. Zach, and also I know that you have been judge in different contests of tequila. Did that what? Judge in different contests of tequilas, tastings. Testing? Are yeah. Talking about testing the profile? Yeah, I, I would like to know more about this activity that you do. Tasting. Oh, my activity. In your liquor store and also in yeah, contests. Yeah, well, I, I oversee a lot of things. Uh, my passion, I have my a lot of my staff, they are very well trained. They know the brand, they know the thing. I'm mm -hmm. focusing more about thinking new, mm -hmm. uh, improve things. Uh, uh, long term, our problem now with the tequila, as you know, we have a shortage in the glasses. Yes. Shortage and uh, a lot of them they don't uh, save uh, invest money to keep extra anejo anejo and so prices is jump way high uh, suddenly 20 30 40 percent um, it's they need to focus about it to keep their brand they, some of them I don't know because just the money they wanted fast money. Mm -hmm. But they didn't think about next month or six months. You have to focus uh, that you have to have always a year, two year cushion yes, to like sustain a plan. a business. If you don't, you're going to be in trouble. Yes, you have to have a plan. Zach. A plan, yes. A plan, focus uh, for, for all the tequila makers or even retailer. You cannot just suddenly you, you didn't plan like for example we have a problem with extra anejo a lot of them they didn't plan to yes. save more extra anejo because they like to sell the anejo reposado first <laughs> and then they want to use the money but they don't want to keep money to for the extra anejo of course the big boy big boy we don't want to say the name they they figured out they saved and now they're selling extra anejo without raising the prices versus a small guy forced to raise the prices. So they've been hurting. Yes, you have to think in the future. Yeah. So, of course. I mean, it's, there's a big subject, this one. <laughs> yes, I know. Thank you so much, Zach. Thank you so much for being You're welcome. a tequila enthusiast. I, I think you are a tequila ambassador right now. Because you know a lot about the process, and, you know and, about the you. brands. Thank you. We love tequila. We love the brand and the people and the tequila maker. They all very nice. Uh, I would be on the 28th, I think, 29 in Arenal. Yeah, I'm coming visit. Yeah. Yeah, you have to come soon. My next Maybe. visit would be two, uh, two weeks. In two weeks. Oh. Sorry. Amazing, yeah. Zach, amazing. So that's why I say like you are the Kill Ambassador. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate Thank it. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. sharing with us your time. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Zach. 
and see you soon here in, in Guadalajara. Yes, yeah, see you soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Zach. Thank you.